Hey guys, Cosmos here from Dolly Games and we continue our Let's Play series on Might and Magic Heroes Online. In this series, we're gonna be uh, going to continue our main quest, which I have delayed for a while because I've been collecting resources, as you know. And also, I want to show you, let me pick up just the resources here, 550 gold, 15 metal. The metal upgrade is rather expensive. 690 310 I'm not sure if that's worth it for just five additional metal uh, 20 wood wood is something I could upgrade 150 wood is uh, the only cost and here is the altar of resplen uh, resplendence that uh, we built via the builders hall and um, they've been gathering up here so now you can see it's uh, storage is full um, I did think about upgrading, but then when I checked uh, on the upgrade window, uh, at a high cost of 600 wood and 270 metal, all you get is 4 additional slots for the Blazing Glories, which is not much at all. Of course, it's more for uh, the Radiant Glories, uh, it's 47 uh, versus 40, but I think that cost is not worth the upgrade. Um, so now anyways, I can uh, recruit 20 of them and what I didn't know is how much uh, crystal they cost. A single one of them cost 11 crystal. So last time I recruited, I think it was 19. Um, I had to pay 200 crystals, which is a lot, but um, they, they're probably worth it. There they are, the 19 that I had already done. So I'm gonna free up space here with one of my Radiant Glories and go ahead and spend all of my crystal so 220 crystals to get 20 of them so uh, the, i thought i was having a ton of crystal i actually had uh, more than 400 and i thought that is a huge amount and i was uh, even thinking about stopping doing those uh, resource exchange quests you know where you have to give wood and metal for crystal but now I see that's uh, maybe not even enough because here we go recruiting 20 and there goes my crystal. I have only 27 left which is of course not enough. Now if we go back to garrison that's not even enough to make a full stack I think. Yeah uh, 20 is not enough but of course if I combine them both then it's just barely enough with 4 additional ones remaining in reserve. But they're of course significantly stronger. Than, um, than other units, so they should be worth their crystal price. Here you can see the difference, the Radiant Glory is doing 1800 damage, uh, the Blazing Glory is 2000, almost 100, so that's 300, uh, oh, sorry, attack um, difference, and that's a light attack as well, retaliation is also somewhat higher but that's not super important initiative is higher uh, from four to five and that is indeed important i think uh, i like initiative a lot i think it, it uh, creates a lot of uh, strategic advantage now if we look at resistances nothing really changes so that that's not a benefit but what where she excels uh, versus the uh, radiant glories is the blinding light so this is like a blind spell she hits the target and blinds the target, which is just amazing for two rounds. So um, that's where she excels. The movement is the same, six movement. Life is the same, 180 life. But uh, attack and defense uh, stats of the two are different as well. So um, we can have a just a quick look over here. On the single unit, attack 60. Oh, sorry, uh, defense <laughs> uh, was was wrong to mention. Uh, attack difference 52 to 60 per unit. Also, the difference in retaliation. So we're gonna try them out. Um, I'm gonna keep them in the army now, unless there is some kind of a boss fight coming up, and I definitely don't want to lose any of these because they are so darn expensive. Over time, hopefully, I'll be able to to get a lot more of them. But for now, we're good to go. Also happy with the garrison level 3, I could combine one of the stacks here, but still that's just not enough. Um, let me think, let me think, yeah, I can actually get rid of the marksman. Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna go with 3, uh, three stacks of uh, radiant, 2 radiant glories and 1 blazing glory, with 2 stacks of... Um, what I call them monks, so they're battle priests, uh, but I call them monks. 
so um, that's what we got and we're gonna work for with uh, to go to get the upgrade here on this builders hall through level 2 um, and then I'll be able to uh, recruit inquisitors and that's why I don't mind if they die off a little bit um, because yeah, I want to switch or switch over to inquisitors. All right, so now uh, all that said and said and done, I'm still behind in the artifacts value, which is why we have an excl exclamation mark here. But we're gonna go directly for the main quest, which will be here, the Dreamer of Life. I also um, already exchanged the uh, metal and wood here at the custodian for crystals. And I picked up my favorite quest, uh, which is the, um, uh, the Sunken Treasures, picking up five treasures. And I like that quest a lot because it also helps to um, kill monsters on the way and pick up extra resources. So we're gonna go to the excavation site this time. Usually I go over to the harbor. Because uh, when you do dailies, that's comfortable. But we're gonna start off with the excavation side, which is then on the left side of the map. There's the first treasure, which is wonderful. Let's just check that there is no other treasure around here. No. Nope. And he should be just northwest from here. Uh, oops, wrong turn. And we can pick up. Um, any monster with good resources on the way that's artifact they don't really want that there's a second treasure you see how good it is to pick up that quest you can get it done while doing other stuff which is fantastic okay we got some wood here 34 wood protected by Hirofat servants easy so we're gonna go for them now I can't entirely test out the Blazing Glories um, against this army type because I think the um, if, I, if my memory serves me right the blindness does not work. Let's get rid of this. Uh, the blindness should not work against undead. Let's double check that. Cannot affect constructs, undead or spirits. Now, I don't know if it says somewhere what type it is. Maybe you know that's the elite unit. Oh, there it is. Spirit in white. So we can check here for the entourages. There's an undead and spirit. So kind of both in one. Undead spirit, undead spirit. So we're not going to be able to test the blindness. But the attack should still work fine. And of course, we're going to reinforce them. But before I reinforce, um, because the hero will play again, I'm going to be doing um, Soul Mark, which will do damage before they enter defense mode and also increase the damage received. And now I can reinforce. I should really clean up my spells. I don't use Sanctuary that often, for example. I should really put reinforcements there. All right, we're gonna reinforce plus 10 on the Blazing Glories. And she still cannot reach, unfortunately. So we will think... Yeah, let's go down. No, okay, we'll, we're gonna stay there, defend. Everybody else can also come closer you here that slot is also fine versus attack and you can come closer over here bell priests can defend all right that was the resurrection from the devotees which I believe is an area resurrection because once I saw uh, them resurrect themselves and the stack near so it must have a range 1 you can double check that oh in fact radius 2 even so they could have resurrected both of these stacks alright 
Now the good thing about them using resurrection is they're not in defense so I can do soul mark again on them. Uh, that will just give them uh, damage but um, what is even better in these kind of situations is to do rush because as you can see the the glories they cannot uh, reach the backstab positions which significantly increase damage. So I'm thinking to do rush. Let's see if she can run or she can only reach here. So we'll do rush. Nobody should be able to reach us yet. There is the main hero again. And with the rush set it is a perfect time to do warlord's command. Then she gets to attack twice and this is going to be a big disaster. Look at that, 127, 156 from the backstab position, 5000 damage, enormous. Now I don't want to hit the same stack again because she will. that will be an overkill. So we're going to go backstab on entourages and I think they will start surrendering very soon. Oh no! I got hit once, that's okay, now we can kill these off, I can, if now they surrender I can accept it because uh, they did kill 3 blazing glories but that's from the reinforcements so that's okay. Yep, they are surrendering, excellent. So that's the beauty of using and that was a critical attack at that 124 killed that's the beauty of using something like triple glories or triple archman marksman and you can get the enemy to um, surrender quite quickly galoshes of the partisan it's a set item increases healing of the bell bell uh, priests or inquisitors increases resistance of sentinels but only 53 artifact value and mine is better although mine is a magic type I will keep it because it's significantly better otherwise I do want to switch at some point to a magic artifact in that slot alright so that was great and uh, we got 34 wood out of that we're gonna skip the um, artifact one down there and come to our main quest which was our objective here to speak with al -Qadir. there we go the wailing can you hear it nope all right he's following also the mystery of the stones army of angels that were turned into stone by the faceless during the elder wars anyhow we get 1850 experience just by talking to him which is fantastic you know this already yeah everybody knows that don't you know all right okay so he wants to reach these ruins which are inaccessible the ruins of Darmur rush if that's how you pronounce it apparently some marauders appear from nowhere and follow the tracks eliminate the barriers cause go to al -Qadir. And you also get a scroll which you can't use, so I'll sell it. It's only prime magic damage 900 anyways, plus a 20 level hero required. So that's also an indication that I could be a tad early for this quest. Because that reward um, is worth, uh, is requiring uh, a lot more um, level. So no, okay, not a lot more, just one level higher. And I guess these fires are the tracks that he's talking about. Here we got a spirit shrine. Shrine of spirit. I could um, uncover that shrine. We'll do that. If we have some kind of a difficult battle, we could definitely do that and get another 80% boost on spirit. So here we're going to follow these burning um, things, which are probably the tracks not this way 
and it's not like a flaming burning it's more like a weird color burning let's check the obelisks sometimes it works oh yeah now it worked awesome so we're slowly uncovering the forgotten sites as well oh here are the tracks what am i talking about it's not the flames here they are on the floor so we're just gonna ride along the tracks and use that opportunity to pick up stuff on the way there's another phantom coin which is a bad one because now i think it'll be the third stack of phantom coins no it's still the second but if i get one more angel feathers it's going to be the third stack which is going to be horrible for my backspace all right here they are void assassin oh it's a boss boss quest also so I definitely don't want to risk my extremely expensive units um, for that and since it's a boss fight I, I do want to go pick up that shrine as well so what we're gonna do is pick up these treasures because they are just around the corner I'm gonna check the big hunt another one the sunken treasures we're not so far away from it kill a couple of um, enemy stacks go to town replace the expensive units with some cheaper units and go for the boss attack so we're gonna try out the hero fat servants average the blazing glory is not the best for these battles simply because these guys are undead so her her biggest benefit she cannot use oh wow this this entourage can immediately reach her which I'm not happy about. How come she can reach him? She can reach her so fast. I can reach her as well. Very strange. Now in this case, I might want a sanctuary up um, because that is a strong attack. If that goes, three thousand damage is going to be done. And if I reinforce. Then they're gonna lose the reinforcements so that's counterproductive very fast units over here also the sphinxes are undead spirit so can't work with those as well i think my only choice is the sanctuary here yep we're gonna sanctuary our beautiful glories there come the 300 now I can reinforce them and of course I'm gonna use the bell priest as bait we're gonna wait with everyone and get those ones are more uh, the sphinxes are I think more dangerous so we're gonna wait bell priest can come forward that's no problem you come over here hopefully they can soak up some damage instead of the glories that's what I was waiting for I want to have a backstab position and not hit them straight and I can have access to backstab over here although he's under defense is still good enough That's already an important difference. There is that blinding light. 2000 light damage. And the blindness. Of course she also has the radiant burst. The same as the radiant glories. But we won't be able to see that benefit just yet. Alright. That stack reduced quite a lot. Now. We're going to have to receive a lot of damage and that's going to come from the 300 and the 226 both of which can reach pretty much most of my units so i'm gonna to have to oh we can pacify yeah that's something we can do 1500 3000 1800 Yep, we're going to pacify the 373 because that's just too much. That's too much. 
All right, nine glories out. That's almost the entire reinforcements taken out. And of course, we're gonna all attack the 226. With the main hero making them weaker, I suppose. Here we go. 130. Off you go. That one is pretty much neutralized. Nine killed, and I will finish that stack off, I think. And there go the Sphinxes. Of course, they all want to hit the Blazing Glories. There's probably a program written about them. Alright, let's just lose some bell priests, that's no problem. Take this out. That one is gonna lose the pacification now. They surrender, but there is no way I'm surrendering any Blazing Glories to any battle. We're gonna start working on the 300. Take this out. I'm just outside the attack range. Let's see. I won't be able to run away with the Bell Priest, which is in front, and that's okay. We'll need two healings one on the Blazing Glories, and one on this Bell Priest, and probably another one on this Bell Priest. Let's start working on that. Now, I don't want her to retreat further because I simply cannot reach her. So we're gonna back off and have her come forward, hopefully, and hit that 175 because I think she cannot reach anybody else yep so she will hit the 175 um, I think but she has to come forward which will put her in range of all my glories I'm gonna continue weakening her now she's got two soul marks on her hill core Oh wow, we can totally take her out. Although I can't reach the backstab position, this is good enough. Look at that, 91 to 111. Uh, that's probably because of the two soul marks I've placed on her. Minus 44 creature resistance. Excellent. So we're gonna do one attack, wait with the other glories. Because if they do critical, I won't be able to heal. So we're gonna wait, wait, wait. Come back, heal. You always should walk back because if I would heal there, he would stand with his back with uh, to the entourages and possibly, possibly get a um, backstab or a flank attack, which I don't want to do. Here we go, that should seal the deal. Flank attack. If anything remains, it'll be just a few units. My hero would have finished it, but it was a critical, beautiful attack. Very nice, 360 experience, another room for selling. 
or using I should actually check what rune they, um, what runes I get because something could be very nice uh, to use before a boss fight Shepherdry 60 defense 60 heroic now I prefer to have spirit although I can pick up the spirit shrine before boss attack it's important to also check where you are so here we got that spirit shrine which we can um, you know uncover we got a, a shrine of creature defense here but that requires that we do the um, water wardens quest first but that's not that's not so difficult so that's possible there's another shrine of defense here but right now I cannot pass uh, let's see I forgot what this XP was I should check that out and of course in town there is a shrine of magic def uh, magic attack and in the um, what's it called um, Anku Rush uh, there is or the excavation site for easier uh, there is a shrine of might so once you take all that plus apply a rune you're definitely good to go for any boss fight and also here is the initiative shrine so uh, it's no problem to take them all but you have to be sure they're all uh, free and so you can take them t uh, fast before the time runs out now uh, this one is guarded so you will lose time to um, uncover that one so we can actually go and free that up so we can uh, take it and not lose any time and then we can do the war war water wardens quest and uh, free up this one before we take anything else oh and a shrine of good fortune also in the harbor so you see you can really power yourself up which will make the boss attack a lot easier of course you can get friends as well but it's challenging for me to try to do uh, to do things myself so that's what I want to do so that's um, that's the plan and um, I'll probably also just take these artifacts just to see if I can get something stronger and um, we'll take it from there <laughs> 